hello, and thank you for messing around. Vampire Survivor's Bezel continues in episode 104 with Leda. Have a good day. Okay, time for some more Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Got, well, not Mina, got Leda. On Abyss Foscari, and then it's going to be on Polis Replica, is it not? Yep. That is going to be it. And that means another 18 have been done. Well, that was awfully long. Okay, so apparently Empty Tome actually does affect the cooldown of Holy Wand. That's really odd. Did I want the other one? Oh yeah, of course. Waltz of Pearls. And since Leda is so strong, I can just go straight to the Arcana. Grab everything that boosts. The Triforce is on the map. Oh right, Empty Tome is also on the map. So let's throw in this box. Man, there's so much stuff. Uh, so, Tronus Box and Empty Tome are what I was going for. That means I have two free spots. Aside from what I have already. Well, I can get luck. That's fine. Cronus on the map. Can't allow to make it bigger. Duplicator. Make it more. Some spinach, gotta get that damage going. Bit of clover, and what could be the last one? Well, there's not a lot left at that point. Could grab one of the defensive ones, or I could grab wings just so I can get going a bit faster. There's a skull little maniac. I will not be picking up today. Lady's probably strong enough to deal with it, but I don't want to. Let's go away. You know, Labrador doesn't really do anything. It's not like they gave that much of a bonus from it. But, hey. Not like I get a lot of bonus out of anything. Clover is eventually just so when I get the freeze thing from the start. What the heck? Oh, the hands are doing a lot of damage, huh? Let's go back to things that are easy to kill. Oh wait, I should I can't get to the chest yet because it's surrounded. Wait, no, I can grab the right and the gold ring. Discard them. Uh, I don't know, spinach for a while, huh? Uh, no. Where's spinach? There's more spinach. A whole lot of spinach. So much crown. There you go, Flings. That's a Taglia right, which can go away. Silver Ring is good. And Chilla Crystal. Bye bye. Taglia left. This is going pretty smoothly. Not a surprise it is later. One of the earliest, strongest characters from what I know, well past the time I did it. When her power had dropped off considerably compared to others, but hey, still gonna clear through with very little difficulty, as long as you're paying attention. But we know how well that goes with me, don't we, folks? So I cut down the intro, like I was basically repeating the whole title just so algorithm stuff, but meh. Honestly, I think I'm going to do like, I mean a smart person would do like a preview thing at the start to go, oh, this is the cool moment of the video, then do the intro. You know, I think Maximilian does that. But 
sometimes that just doesn't happen in the video. And two more, so I'm getting one more crown off of level. Oh yeah, Director's Cut still hasn't come out, eh? Guess it really isn't being released. Oh, I haven't been on the Discord in a while because the computer switch. Right, Academy Badge is here too. Yeah, I really need to restart all my, well, all two of my Discord channels. Well, not my channels, but the ones I was visiting. Right, not that I was all that active, but now that everything is a, it is a disaster, I can have it be fun again. Of course, it would help if I could wake up at a decent time. But hey, nothing like waking up to pure darkness to completely mess with your internal clock. It burns when I look outside these days. Vampire Survivors. Benswick episode, whatever number this is. I lost track every time I'm not looking directly at it. Okay. Well, let's hold you out since I don't really need you right away. Need that piercing um limit break. Hmm. No, it's better to just grab it first here. It's all the way down at the tome. What am I doing? Okay. Go through the secret passage, grab the empty tome with the Toronas box up. Oh, no, up north, missed it. There we go. Dang hands. Still don't know how these snakes managed to take down Minana. Life. That was really weird. Thought I was perfectly fine, but nope. Suddenly a snake. Not anything dangerous like the hands. Just a bog standard snake. Fire faster. I guess it only counts as maximum speed or whatever when the thing has empty tone, because you know that's how you evolve it. But later this it it's not like one level is gonna make four levels is gonna make all that big of a difference. Just uh okay, so either the other Atlant the mini Atlanteans only spawn in once you take out a big one, as, well, we are seeing right here. Or they only spawn in after a certain amount of time, considering I don't think 9 minutes is a particularly specific time. It's probably the first one. Wow, they're getting wrecked in a single hit now. Well, maybe multiple ones, it could be hard to tell. Hey, there's a boss variant. Thanks for the chest, boss variant. I'll make sure to use this empty tome well. No, I probably should have grabbed Toronto's box first, but meh. 15% plus luck. So, well, I haven't watched it fully. I do know Dex tried a 1 million kills challenge in irregular conditions. I'm wondering how best to actually do that. It was solo weapon with Mask of the Red Death. I don't think he actually made it on the one I saw anyway. But I think maybe switching in Paranormal Scanner instead would be more helpful overall. You'd lose out on a bit of Silent Old Sanctuary power, but gain so much more overall. But you would have to basically get it ASAP to do it. What do I even want here? Uh, out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, Cracked orb. Corona's 
box. Box a box of Corona. Wow, that did not last long, that NFT at all. Candy box. Nice. Hey, Genevieve. I think I can actually hit you from over here. It's only when I get close. No. Huh. Looks like you're not an active mob yet. Hmm. You are being hit, but you're not being affected by anything. Uh-oh. How could? I could have lost there. Vanish into the abyss, the Torona's box. And level up forever. Yeah, that was quite a bit of them. Oh, what is that? Big Shadow Reaper. Wow, you died so fast. Well, I mean, I guess I basically technically did this same build with Melda too, didn't I? Well, that was only a couple of days ago, too, wasn't it? The things you forget. Well, time to go farm Atlantis. If anyone ends up in this stage, I'm going to do that just so, you know, there's a bit more variety in the power levels. Huh? What was that? No, it's not around this curve. It is here. Why can I not bump in? Yeah. That was weird. Hey, later clones, how you doing? Is anyone else confused about the sprites? Because, you know, I did think Leda was a man for a while. Same thing with Mion and Llama. Nope. Well, still don't know about Llama, but the other two are definitely women. Where are you at, Atlanteans? There we are. And they're going down easy peasy. And with the Crack Dwarf, I don't have to do anything to grab them. Alright, so I'm invincible mode already 15 minutes in. I guess I could grab the candy box and check to see if I can get a magic wand off. That seems. Yeah. It's gotta get better. I know there's like a sweet spot for spawning them in. Where is it? Oh, hey, look at that boss go. It tried its best. It's around here. Normally the map is a lot more clustered. Oh, good, I did hit record. I was really worried about that. Is it here? I think the illusionist. Ah, I remember. The orange one is the Maddener. Yay, my memory is only really bad instead of completely irredeemably bad. It's not, it shouldn't be this far down. It's somewhat up. Let's start being here. Yeah, here's the sweet spot. Now they'll start spawning in a ton. And they can't get close. No, they can get plenty close, it's just not going to matter. Hmm. Mattering more than I thought. Well, I can take it. But... Nice. Yep, now they'll just keep coming in, and her golden eggs will just go up and up and up. I should probably tag us in like an egg farm, like not a guide or anything, but hey. But yeah, anyone who's going to come to this stage is going to spend any time they can in Atlantis, get some golden eggs. Just so that, you know, there's a bit more power variance going. So, well, there's only so much you can sort of do with the same basic gameplay loop over and over and over. Hey, seeing the power of Silent Sanctuary on one weapon, 
S sometimes. Sometimes you get Ramba, who has no power with it. And it's terrible. Boy, will he be glad to have other weapons. Not even sure what I'm going to get on him, but... After this, there's only 15 more to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this was just a prop do thing. I really wanted to do it on Starship Troopers Extermination, but that patch did not work at all on my computer. Now it would, but now I'm too busy with other games. Well, probably. There's still a lot of talk about it not being optimized. But I am waiting till the next patch. Speaking of sort of patchy, ooh, wow, they got in. Patchy things. Final Fantasy 16, the Rising Tide DLC, finally got its announcement date. Two days after Hyudan Chronicles. Game I was. Oh, hey, she can get Magic Wand. Well, oh, I don't want it. Uh, April 18th, two days after Hyudan Chronicles. Or Rising Tide from Final Fantasy 16. Blatantly giving away <laughs> some stuff. It's just going to be pretty great. But, you know, two days after a game I've been waiting since its announcement to come out. Almost 20 years since Sukaden 5 came out. The last good Sukaden DS game was terrible. And the other one never got ported. But apparently I had like eight chefs and it's just like bleh, here's down goes another boss. And of course there's probably gonna be some new small update for Vampire Survivors at some point. Which will probably shoot the Beswick back over twelve hundred. Yeah. Also I learned that Twitch can't do four K streaming, which is strange because this is a dang musical note. You know, Maximilian Dude streams are in 4K. He streams on Twitch. So maybe it's just if you actually have partner status or whatever, or I was doing it wrong. But that means Unicorn Overlord is going back on YouTube. Hopefully. It looks decent. Well, it doesn't look like it has much issue between the monitor and the TV like Final Fantasy Rebirth did because it had HDR and my computer monitor is an HDR, but the TV is. It was really annoying fiddling with the settings for that. Of course, if the computer had been delivered on time, I still would have had difficulty, but I would have been able to do something about it in advance. But the whole of March has been just one thing where I've been behind, behind, behind. This video will be recorded all of less than 12 hours before it premieres. I mean, sometimes it's usually within the hour, but this one I really need to make sure it's done in advance, so because 4K takes so long to actually upload. Some of them were like four hours. But, well, with Rebirth not hogging my time, well, Unicorn Overlord does look good. I don't think I'll be trying to spend every moment I can playing it the same way I did with Rebirth. Uh, here I am, 28, well, more like 15 minutes into a Vampire Survivors run, and I'm spending all the time talking about other games. But, hey, got the Bezwork playlist, got that Sea of Stars run, which, well, I really need to fix so many videos at this point, but it's falling so far behind because of all the nonsense piling up. Here's Big Boss latest coming in. Barely coming in. Yep, even they are getting taken care of. And even if not, I have enough revives in defense to make it through. Yep, even the final wave isn't doing much. Just base old Holy One, too. Yeah, 312 attack does later, but still. 
go. That's the first one. Stay tuned for the second. 159 with the Holy Wand out of bounds almost as much and more DPS. 180 eggs out of that. No, 162. Okay, Leda is now going to Polis Replica. And it should be much, much easier. In fact, just for comedy's sake, let's start with this one instead. Just to see how much stronger it is. And then straight up to the Arcana. Duplicator. Ooh. Right, no wings here. I should not have grabbed Clover, but I already did, so. I'll have to sacrifice something else. Da, 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 da. Can't already worry, isn't very important. Yeah. On the other hand, it does boost the size of the explosions from out of bounds, I think. Oh, I'm more comfortable grabbing da, 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 curse here, so maybe I'll do that. We want crown to level up. That would have been like my normal fifth passive or whatever. Let's Yes, you know, you always want damage unless you're doing something specific. So that's good to have. Well, Throne's Box would just be better at this point. Well, definitely of them all, getting rid of Bracer is fine. Of what's left. Oh. Well, now Empty Tome's a good choice. I guess it will be Candle Labrador. That means Out of Bounds will have less size. But oh well. Still doing plenty of damage. Crown it up. Put a crown on that head. Yeah, it's telling how strong Leda is that I just booked it for this with no trouble. Wait, that's now an old sanctuary. Yep, that's definitely faster. So cooldown does affect Holy Wand. I thought it didn't because of the description. But I was wrong. Learn something new every day. And if you don't, you're probably in a coma. In which case, I'm not sure how you're watching this, but hi. You're in a coma. Oh, there was throwing his box. There you are. Ah, oh, that's a lot of levels. Maybe. Oh, all that. Should not have grabbed that. Need to go get a level first so I don't accidentally do something bad. On the other hand, I probably will take it. This map isn't that hard. And with all the minis, she'll have more than enough power to just chew through everything. Heck, I got my Taglio, and it's not even five minutes yet. Heck, if it's on the right, I might even be able to grab Silver Ring. This is down and around. Heck, I have enough time to do this. Yeah, I'll grab it. And that gives me a Clock Lancet effect, which is, well the wind zone. Yeah, look at that fire off. There you go. Yeah, Gallo already did here because it was pacifism. Oh, what's that red thing? Oh, Pomerola. I don't really need it, but hey, might as well grab it. Hello, Pomerola. Well, that definitely cuts down the cooldown. Look at it go. 
I must regret not being able to do Gallo here for a out of bounds run. It's crazy good. Down, it's going fast. Lena is not. Yeah, I think that's faster than a regular clock lancet, isn't it? Like, I think in theory, if you have one of the characters with no weapons and then grab this. Oh, well, no, on the other hand, this is a, a minus 100. Oh, right, from all the gags, she got a cooldown reduction. Yeah, I mean, 90 is the max, but still. Pretty crazy. Oh, could have totally waited. You know, boosts up the silver ring some more. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter that much. Not a lot can really stop her unless I get really dumb with running in Atlanteans like that. But even then. All right, yeah, she has 162 curse now because of all that. Not a lot of health, decent health regeneration. And hey, her movement speed is almost back to zero. Oh, that was a lot of levels up there. Oh, Pierce. And then random always. Alrighty. Oh, golden finger, that's super rare. Got like a 0.002% chance. Oh man. Too few spawned in. Totally could have done it too. Yeah. That was it. Just a chest. Yeah, I know I was only going to get something super good with a cosmic finger. Which is on the spawns, so we're not spawning in. Deadly space otters. They did finally fix it so that whatever it was, heck, it might actually bend the otters. It's finally counted correctly for the Ars Guda. Which is nice to have it finally filled back out again. Oh, yeah. I think technically, if, well, I mean, if I do complete the badge, it will not be for a long, long time. Like, Leda here is only 32 out of not 32 characters, 70 characters. So I'm not even halfway through the second rounds yet. So I will have a third of it done by the time I get back down to Rotten Ghoul there. Then I'll have it a sixth of the way done. No, I'll have it a third of the way done when I'm done with second wave, presumably. Then if the third wave it would be a third of the way done, so I'll have six down because I'm going for that three 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 thing. Which should be much easier not being on inverse. Oh, Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Championship Edition. Hey, I get to skip it. Galaga Bats. Space Invader Bats, whichever you are. I never remember how to look it up. Like the same thing for the Arsguda and the Matter and the Illusionist. Except I finally did do that. So I should probably go do that. Now, here, while I'm invincible. Nah, it's totally Galaga. Or is it Space Invaders? Or is it Galaga Invaders? Well, one thing's for certain, it's definitely suspicious. Bats aren't supposed to look like that. Oh, right. The garlic from red. I wonder if it reduces the freeze defense. Well, 
would be pretty helpful to have it because of that. Like, not like I'm not going to get it, but it would be very good. That means everything will be frozen even easier, and even the Atlanteans in death can be stopped. Alright, what's the other thing I got? The bounces here. Now, I used up a lot of rerolls, though. Where are my Waltz of Pearls? There it is. Well, it's really inefficient to go after red. But well, that's what I'm going to do, because I want to test it out on the Lanty and see if I can stunlock it with freezes. Or freeze it at all. I mean, I can stunlock it with firing, right? Yeah, I can't move. Mostly because it's dead, but... Oh, there's the entrance. Or I guess, pass frame. Door frame. I mean, there's no door. Oh, hey, I'm right by where I need to go, too. Nice. Oh, yeah, this was actually going to be helpful. Sort of helpful. Oopsie, it's not here. Uh oh. Forgot where the exit is. There it is, up on the side. Yeah, just around, and I grab it, and no more vinegar. Good. Now I grab safe shifter, grab gold ring, and then I go back down to engineer and blue. It's been so long since I've actually played as the minis, or the actual Among Us is. Wait, isn't there a steam limit for achievements? What eventually they run out of achievements? Well, that's for whenever it gets. Oh, knives. Ah, funny knives. Yeah, they're firing out so fast. It's like a knife tornado or something. Yep. Just complete domination of the airwaves. Oh, so many red chests. Or gold chests. Oh, and it's not getting frozen despite it. So I guess it doesn't count as real garlic. No, it's just being frozen because it's being shot so much, not because it's actually taking the freeze. Alright, two more minis, and then it'll be 11 minutes to victory, because it's always 19 minutes. Alrighty, what to name this video? Lita's Holy One Domination. Now I get that sensationalist title for a clickbait. Dumb algorithm. But hey, I'm not going to begrudge people for not looking. That's on me. Yeah, I was just desperate in hoping I'd get that lucky break at the start. That I'd be able to, you know... Get something stuck. Oh wow, Hollow Heart. Man, she's getting an insane luck. But it didn't happen, and now I'm in the low. Wait, why do I. Oh, right, Hollow Heart. In the double digit subscriber hill. No consistent viewers for when I live stream, because I don't put out a schedule. Thumbnails are boring. But hey. Like I said, that's all on me. If I was interesting, I'd be interesting. That's why I have to make up... Oh, did I already grab blue? Then I grab that. 
But if I was interested, I wouldn't have to make up axe murderers to talk to. Well, axe manslaughterer. He was able to talk his way down, like I said. Turns out people really love throwing themselves into axes. Axes. Llama has an axe here. The only axe. What Final Fantasy character with an actual name mechanically uses an axe? Like an important one. Not like some side nobody. Like obviously fighters could in the original Warrior Light and all that, but. Ultimate weapon is Excalibur and Mazabune. The Virion Fry or whatever his name is. No, it's a sword or a bow. Three doesn't have characters. I don't think Rax is even in that game. Four, no, it's all sword fest. Man. Five, but old Budatsky starts with a sword and that's really it. Axes are like the sole domain of Berserker and Freelancer. Six is another. Nope. I don't even think that game has axes. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's like swords, spears, claws, katanas. Huh. Eight. Seven definitely has no axes. I know that very intimately. Eight does not. Hi, baby. Nine does not. Ten does not. Eleven probably does, but it's an MMO, so it doesn't count. Twelve doesn't count either for that same reason. Thirteen is not. Fourteen is also an MMO. Fifteen does not. Sixteen does not. Huh. Funny thing is, I know directly a Tails character that does. Good old Arsene Kumpler. There's probably more, but that's the easiest one. Oh wow, Spellbinder 2. Incredible luck late has been getting here. Like maybe one more. Like I know Kles and Stan can use axes, but you know they're always going to be stuck with swords or Cress or whatever his official name ends up being. Bob. Oh, just off on completely wild gaming tangents all the time. Only so little you can do. You know, the axes are always sort of the weapon game, the short end of the stick. It was like the villain weapon to the barbarity or something. Swords are your standard hero weapon. Everyone uses a sword. And who can blame them? They're so cool. And yeah, occasionally you get the spear. I still no Final Fantasy main character that uses them. But hey, you got Edgar. You got Mog. You got Sid. You got oh, Dion is a main character, but he uses it. You got Kane. Plenty of well-known spear users. Heck, you probably got more well-known bow users too. And Maria. Oh, I want to call her well-known, but it is. Furion, like I said, Rosa. Heck, we're posing. Six as well. I don't even think so. No one in seven. Seven had two characters with guns. Eight. Eight was gun blade chakra. Fist, gun, whip. Huh, and then Chaku. Weird that the baby isn't down yet. Nine. Also didn't have a bow. Hmm. I guess it's more rare than I thought. 
suppose the job systems have you know dedicated archery roles, so oh, there it goes. There I go. Bye later. Twenty two eight point eight million. Wow, Holy Wand actually kept up pretty well. Considering that's laid on Polis Replica done. Two more done for the Beswick. All right, um, all that good. Thanks for watching. Stuff goes here. And fresh off another two easy victories. Well, one of the rare easy victories is Leda with two more down. One thirty-six, one thirty-seven. At this rate, I'll be at a 180. All right. Next up's after that's. Well, I hope I was away. Next up's going to be Cosmo, which is going to be interesting because he only has hidden weapons. I don't know if Silent Old Sanctuary affects that, but it's going to be a blast to find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like if you liked it. Disliked if you didn't. Comment if there's any builds you want me to try. Anything gimmicky, I'll do it. Subscribe if you want to support the channel and enjoy all the content. Have a good day and keep mezzing around.